I'll come back to the next boombox bash party. I'm trying to infect this thing in a very peculiar way. And thus far, it hasn't really been working. Finally! How? This stupid... Go away. Very good thing I had a third throw. So never mind everything I was saying, I guess. <laughs> the instant I stop... Instant I throw into another episode, I get it. Whatever. Oh yeah, I actually get recognition for something. Hey. Nice stripes. Oh man, you took way too long to unlock. Okay. So this is going by a lot more quickly than the other stuff was. Partially because we have fewer levels to play. But not, not just that. Applesauce. Why are we calling this that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's Okay, so he also... Okay, so those are four separate parts. Kind of the blocks. Imagine up the Imagine not just as if I was doing that. Like three slings though. So does anything crazy happen if I go there? Why would I want to do a variety of things available to me right now? Just make nothing happen just then, okay. So I don't see why I... <laughs> why do you fire it so high? I, it didn't look to me like it was actually angled at a very steep angle at that point. Yeah, it was. Okay, so I see what we're doing here. So I want to sling this block this way. That's really stupidly luck-oriented. And then have it... No, not that. That's almost it. Then have it come back. I'll have the character block come back after m displacing those gym blocks. And then hit the chemical block behind me. Hit this one. Oh my god. It has so much power, even when I sling it as lightly as I can. Not be tamed. And then it goes way further than it's supposed to. It's also a problem. How about that? How do I just fire this block instead? I just fired this over there instead. It's gonna... It's weird. Like, these things... Whenever you sling something... It gets a ton of... Speed. It goes so high in the air and far in the air and all that. But somehow, at the same time... It's like... I'll blow this- I'll blow this chemical block up. Stop! Why can't I- I need to be able to sling things gently. I really do. That almost worked. But it doesn't, despite you sling things, then I'm going, oh my god, the angles this thing slings at. You need to have better control over that. It needs to not be camera based. This camera base just forces you to use really awkward angles. And sometimes it's impossible, actually, to get something to go a certain way. Somewhere at this corner. I would have had it if it wasn't for that right there. Darn it! Just for that one that gets stuck there. Nope. Yeah, thankfully in this case I have the option of like angling it down to kind of decrease the power, but that's not always something I can do. It doesn't always allow me. Such luxuries.
Uh, how did I not pull that up? Ah. Never mind that then. Well, that explosion right then at the end would have also made sense of it. That explosion at the end actually displaced those two gem blocks. I don't think it would have. I think the first explosion did it. It's kind of weird though, because I've been using explosions until now specifically to do that. Ah, come on! It's just a way to get those to move, so I don't really know if they can work or not work. Come on, I guess the point of contact between two chemical blocks is the size of the explosion is. Oh! Please, gentler! Stop going so f I'm not trying to sling it into the great yonder. I just want it to gently be nudged in one direction. It should not be difficult. I don't have enough control over the power of this thing. No! That was greatly in excess of what I wanted. I can't just like bring this up to the top because I can't sling it upwards for some reason. Which I feel it also be a good thing to be able to do. Bed. I'm really having a hard time getting an angle for this. Okay. Now I managed to get the shot every other time. Let's see if we can make it this time. Nope! Ah! I have to make this shot first or something now? Okay, this time I also managed to make it my first try. Got it. Very awkward. Why do we call it applesauce? Just cross my hands. I wasn't really thinking about it until now. Anyways, let's finish this up. We need to make some progress. Pockets. We have pockets with children on top. Two slings this time. Okay. So it's short and sweet. Maybe not sweet, but short at least. Also get one and not have one block left over like that. I'm guessing that's the idea. Okay, so what can I just like do that? Oh, there's our girts on top. Stupid girts. When that happens, this is a luck-based one feels like. I see there's also that that bar of kind of like chemical bar up top that destroy all the grits at once, but I don't think it's really gonna be helpful. Because I can't get rid of both of the uh for one it's not gonna destroy the other one apparently. But it's even you know, if it did, I I still can't get rid of these uh tigers simultaneously. I need to make, make this whole thing work in two shots by just hitting these. Come on, man. Still get this boot system in the beginning. More by luck than anything else, but come on. Cool. Cool. There are lots of gems still left in there. So I guess what I want to make happen is I want to actually overshoot the gems. But then still somehow hit the uh chemical lock. So it's seeming like that. Not exactly that to happen. Ah, if I hit the chemical if I hit the gems, that might happen for one, rather the chemical lock doesn't explode at all. But what might also happen is I might uh 
see I'm knocking the blocks out like I need to, if they might just get stuck in. So I need to shoot over the gems. And blow it all up. Okay. Whatever. Got it. And same thing. No achievements, some medals, all gold, like usual. I really do have a little bit of time left, so I might as well end up trying something different. So let's jump into the end of this. Bullseye. I hated this though, I don't want this. Oh god, I forgot we had this, I was thinking twice a moment ago. What was the third set of levels here? The worst one. Ice, I think this is pretty much the entirety of the snow multiplier business we have to deal with. That's a good always. How much do we need? 800, a lot more than I just now got. I imagine I want to get the 150 from the 54. No! Stupid! Explosions blow the whole thing away from where it needs to be. Why do you need to set off the explosion just then? It's like the chemical block exploded, but is it? Oh, because when the chemical block touches the... Oh, ah. That's the dumbest thing. Because anything that touches the... multiplier explodes. It's like what I want to do is actually knock all these fives into it individually. <laughs> so many test your patience. So we can go somewhere else. Do anything. That also goes somewhere else. And there you go. Similarly, that's how I deal with these ones. Okay, I mean, if I have to take it slowly, I'll do it here. Yeah. That's what gets me. Passing. I mean, I'd rather have this, honestly, than the pain in the ass that was just trying to say thing over and over 20 times. If I can have something nice and consistent that just is somewhat tedious, I'll take that any day over the other stuff. So I'll happily do this. I'm taking the calling in. I mean, it's just full of gems around it. But, uh, actually, now that I think about it, when you go into the level editor, you can actually set the platinum score, the score for gold with gems around it. And I think it actually has like a separate icon for it. I think it's actually like a gem surrounded in gold or something. It's kind of weird. Anyways, so that was a lovely, exciting conclusion to this episode. <laughs> Clearly. Anyway, so that'll be that for this episode today, Boombox Bash Party. This wasn't really a place to go. This is the lag place. I'll see you guys next time, next episode, when we resume Bullseye Bonus. So we've spent a little bit more time he here than I would have liked in the uh, bonus, Showtime bonus. Five episodes so far, hopefully not a lot more, but, well, it's Bullseye, so I can't promise you guys anything. Hopefully things are going to progress a little bit faster after this, though. Because this, got this particular area was a little... It was a little slower than the others, I think. Uh, underwater in particular, with my release really quickly, so I think Sunny should be okay. Oh my god, I have to do golf again in bonus mode. Ugh. 
I'll just deal with the mental fallout of realizing that, well, you guys enjoy doing whatever that isn't watching this video. So I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, say Boombox Bash Party. Right to Bullseye. Bye, guys.